So today we are going to delid and Core i7 limited edition 8086K processor. Uh, we got some liquid metal, got some tools, got a uh, new copper heatsink, more tools. Let's get started. Very special. Hmm. Oh, that's a nice box. The other one didn't come in a box. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, so where's my? I'm using the Dr. Dealit painless and easy tool. I'm not using the uh, delitting tool from Der Bauer because I just like this one. Uh, it's just a personal preference for delitting. I think this is uh, this is quite nicely made, and uh, it doesn't shear it off sideways. It shears the heatsink off by rotating actually the heatsink off, and uh, I like this design. That's it. There it is. Uh, okay. Four hundred fifty bucks right there. So won't need this anymore. Because I'm going to be reapplying a new heat spreader. Actually a big one. So this tool I purchased from the same guy that is selling these uh, copper heat sinks. And um, I'll put a link in the description. That looks quite nice. It has a, like a satin finish. It's not like polished, but it looks like sandblasted or something. Looks like glass beat uh, blasted, which is a good surface for the liquid metal. Cause yeah, with my liquid metal right here, this is an old batch of Collaborati. Um, yeah, liquid metal. Um, and so I'm gonna be cleaning this up next and then um, I'll put this in the other tool for, um, Reseating with the new heatsink. So let's get a few Q tips and some alcohol. That looks good. Okay. 
yeah, without removing that glue, I'll just add some of that uh, Sika Flex 252i. Another issue that I've I've noticed is um, the upper left little contacts here. They're not covered in any way, and also those ones here is blank. So I'll cover them up with some uh, electrical tape. That should be enough. That's it. Now let's wait 24 hours and then I will put it in my PC build. Hope you enjoyed that episode, and um, yeah, I'll do a follow up on on uh, on that if it works, and what the temperatures is going to be like. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.